um, I made a lot of videos like this. Um, sorry for whispering, it's night time. <laughs> made a lot of videos about some. This music sometimes makes me whatever, whatever, whatever. But um, I'm gonna be talking about um. Goth. Um. Yeah, so. Yeah, so goth for me, like. It it sometimes makes me happy. Um. For the most part. Like. You know, the cures, like, darker music. Obviously brings me down, but like. You know, Bauhaus or Sisters of Mercy, they get me happy and pumped up, you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, it's just... Because I was trying to think, am I really a metalhead? Um, I do like metal music. I still can't decide if it's my number one favorite, but I definitely know that goth is one of my favorite uh one of my favorites and again i'm talking about true goth not you know male and manson or whatever um you know i seem the, the most bands that i know from any genre or subgenre or whatever you want to call it seems to be goth um, I could be wrong. Maybe, maybe I do know more metal bands than any other genre. But, God, I know a lot of goth bands. Not every goth band. Um, there are some goth bands that are really popular that I have not checked out. You know? But, checked out most of them. Or whatever. Even the underground ones. And I just like it. Like, this is the music that makes me happy. This is the dark music that makes me happy. Because, like, metal... Like, I like metal. Sometimes it makes me happy. But sometimes the dark metal doesn't make me happy. With goth, it makes me mostly happy. Um, you know? Unless, it, like... Goth makes me not happy if it's like dark sad you know or dark angry but if it's dark happy then obviously i'll feel happy most goth music is kind of like upbeat you know in my opinion um yeah that's just my opinion but yeah um so yeah, goth music for the most part makes me happy. I, th again, that might be my. Fa it's either my number one favorite, but if it's not, it's at least one of my favorites. Um, I'll never stop listening to metal. Don't get me wrong, and all the genres, but this one seems to be. I don't know, just a place to belong, I guess. Um, you know. Feel I feel more understood. There's less judgment in the goth community compared to the metal community or any other community. Um, I don't know. This is this is me, you know. Um, so yeah, this is my video. I don't really have anything else to say. But you know, just if it's dark and upbeat. You know, I'll feel happy. You know, most of it is like that. It's it's odd. It's like it's dark, but it's happy. Not even necessarily happy. Some songs are just powerful. Some songs are just like a trip. You know, I don't know. Um, I, I, I don't know. I just find beauty in the darkness with that kind of genre. Um... Every other genre is too dark. Like, like you know, like telling people to, you know, 
do crazy shit, which you shouldn't do. I think you should probably get in trouble if you write lyrics like that. Legal trouble. You know, f yeah. what are you doing? You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, yeah, don't tell people, that, you know, don't. Yeah, I, 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 when I write music, I try to avoid writing edgy stuff. I mean, like, the worst that I've ever wrote in full lyrics, I think, was, like, saying how I want. Like, this is a, it's not really bad if you think about it. Well, it kind of, I don't know, it's, like, the worst lyrics I've ever written was about, like, distant, like getting rid of people in my life, like, distancing myself from people, um, like, that's kind of bad, kind of not, like, it's bad because isolation is unhealthy, while social creatures, but it's not bad because you want to be alone, no, go ahead, it, like, if you want to get rid of people in your life, like, block them, Ignore the phone calls, like, you have the right to do it. But that's, I guess, the darkest lyrics that I've ever written was just isolation, basically. Wanting to go, you know. That song wasn't even goth. Well, it was like pseudo-goth, rock, metal, Manson, you know, whatever. <laughs> you know. Um, and I have made goth music, uh, like, true goth music, like, Blessed Be by Gnostic Mind Train. Um, there's a song that I made, well, I didn't, like, there's a song that I have, um, I didn't make the instrumental, I got it from Mixcraft, but, like, Mixcraft is like loops <laughs> that someone else created, and you can mix the loops. I don't use Mixcraft anymore. I use FL Studio, baby. But back in the day, I used to use Mixcraft, and this is goth, Joy Division sounding, you know, song that I made. It's really good if you're goth. Um, it's on Reverb Nation. It's called uh, Sanctuary by Gnostic Mind Train. I jokefully tweeted that out, and I'm just like, this is going to be the most mysterious song on the internet 2.0 one day. <laughs> it's really good. If you like Joy Division, the Sisters of Mercy, um, you know, you'll like that song. Even though I didn't create the instrumental, it's still good. Um, but Blessed Be, I created that. Like, from, like, totally, you know? Um, Blessed Be is on SoundCloud. I think it's on Reverb Nation, too, I think, but it's definitely on SoundCloud. Um, I don't really make... It's funny. I, I listen to a lot of goth music, but a lot of my music that I make is not goth. Most of it's not. Most of it is metal, you know. Or electronic, but I don't know. I don't want to get off topic, but yeah, listening to goth makes me feel better. So, um, yeah, <laughs> this is Johnny, and this is the end of this video. See ya.